Today on WhatMollyMade.com, I'm teaching you how to make homemade oat milk in just five minutes. This recipe is great in coffee, smoothies, or poured over cereal. Let's get started. You'll need a blender and a Rawson Creations nut milk bag for this recipe. First, add two cups of gluten-free oats to a large, high-powered blender, and then add three dates. Make sure they're pitted. Then add one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and finish it with one teaspoon of high quality vanilla. You're going to need a lot of water for this recipe, so fill a large eight cup measuring bowl all the way to the top with water. When you have all eight cups, pour it all into the blender with the rest of your nut milk ingredients. It will probably fill your blender all the way to the top and that's totally fine. If you have a smaller blender, you can have this recipe and still get four full cups of oat milk. When the water is in there, secure the blender on top of the stand and then secure the lid on tightly. Blend on the highest setting for 45 seconds to one minute. Be careful not to blend it too long or the oats could become gel-like, similar to when they're cooked. Once it's completely blended and when you take the lid off, there will be lots of bubbles and froth on the top. That's exactly what you want. Grab your eight cup measuring bowl again and prepare to strain the pulp from the milk. You'll need a Rossum Creations nut milk bag to make this oat milk recipe. I'll link it below. It's my favorite because it's designed with culinary use in mind. The seams are on the outside for easy cleanup and it's fair trade and made by an amazing team in Bali. Pour all of your milk into the measuring bowl. Get those last little drops out and then set your blender aside. Grab the edges of the nut milk bag and pull up in the center and tighten the drawstrings. Use your hands to strain all of the milk through the bag into the measuring bowl. You should be left with tiny bits of oat milk pulp in the bag. You can save these to make things like crackers or you can compost them. Set the pulp aside for now and get ready to take a sip of your ice cold oat milk. It's as simple as that, no soaking, all you need is a few minutes and you've got a healthy gluten-free oat milk. Let's try some. I really like oat milk because it's a little bit creamier and uh, makes a coffee really, really good. You can add it to a latte or you can add it to black coffee or you can add it to a matcha latte and it uh, makes it really creamy and just a little bit more rich than an almond milk or a cashew milk, any kind of nut milk. Okay. You can drink this totally plain. The sweetness from the um, dates and the cinnamon is really good, but you could also add um, a little bit of chocolate and maybe a little bit more sweetener, like a maple syrup, to make it a chocolate milk. You can also add it onto um, granola or your favorite cereal. You can add it to smoothies. There's so many options for this milk. It's a really easy way to make your own oat milk at home, you know what's going in it, you know it's healthy, um, and it's really, really easy. So good. If you love this recipe, don't forget to like my video and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get a notification every time I make a new recipe. See you later.